Right, okay, you lot, I hope you're well, right? First of all, I'd like to apologise for the lack of a This Week on the Internet episode recently, right? I've got one fully prepared and everything. I just don't have the time to make it this weekend, so that'll be out early next week. I think Tuesday. Hold us to Tuesday, right? But as I was saying, right, I don't really have the time to make it at the moment, but if you want to know why I don't have the time to make it, go and head over to the second channel and subscribe over there, and yeah, you'll find out. I'm a horrendous person. <laughs> and second of all, right, if you are new around here, it would mean the world to me if you'd go and hit the subscribe button, because I've set myself, like, a mission of trying to hit a million subscribers by the end of the year, which is a pretty big ask, so any little help I can get with that from you guys would be absolutely amazing. So anyway, right, I've probably mentioned the fact that I'm now posting on Facebook about a million times in the last few videos, right? So just a little note, right, I've started posting loads on my Facebook page. I'm posting way more on Facebook at the moment, and it's just stuff like we do on here, right? Like, taking the mick out of strange people on the internet. But, uh, it seems like, uh, that's a new concept over there, and it doesn't really go down too well with some of them. You're a dick. An insensitive, rude, and ignorant dick. But a dick nonetheless. This is grief and heartbreak. How dare you trivialise and make fun of this grieving widow. Shame on you. Your parents must be real proud. Now, like, hang on, right? I understand that. But one, I'm not really sure the whole My Strange Addiction things is real. And two, right? She's making a dead bloke in a box pancakes every lunch. Like, how am I the one that's trivialising this? I've got to say, though, Brooke looks like the type of person to always ask to speak to the manager. What else we got? So, yeah, we'll stick with uh, that same video. Of Stefania here. This guy is so loud. I was just trying to watch the video for the stories, and every time his face pops in, it's just so disturbing and annoying. I mean, I do enjoy having my face called disturbing and annoying, so <laughs> cheers for that, Stefania. Moving on. Great! Another guy judging and bullying people online. Like, you can just tell, like, this is just a normal concept on YouTube, but as soon as it's gone to Facebook, everyone's like, oh, what a dick! Wow, how new and not rude at all. Like, oh, sorry, Catherine, I'm sorry, you know, if I offended these probably paid actors over in America with my one Facebook video, but, uh, we'll move on. The guy reacting to this is so f***ing annoying. You seriously disgust me, you f***ing dick. Like, all I did was talk about a TV show. Sorry, Agalos. Oh, this one's an interesting one. So the f what is this supposed to be funny? Hang on, Samantha, what? So the f what is this supposed to be funny? Eh? All right, moving on. Go play in traffic blindfolded. Great way to... What is she trying to say? Go play in traffic blindfolded. Great way trying to get likes and being internet famous by... But this makes no sense. There's one called Brosif Stalin here. He's just gone for f off, Will. Fair enough. Broseph Stalin. This is disgusting. This woman is suffering and you're making fun of her. I oh, like showing her. Just go back to sharing minions memes, will you? Then Sean here has just opted for yawn. Oh, thanks, Sean. Whoa, Sean looks like a right bad lad. Sean's also got quite an inspiring quote in his intro here, which says, trust in yourself before anyone else. We'll bear that in mind, Sean. Okay, so we'll also post the video I did on those, like, human pups on there, and uh, the reaction to that was quite interesting, too. Humans like you are trash. Oh, bloody hell, a talking fox. To be fair, that comment makes sense now. Whoa, hang on, hang on, right? So, Ari here, she's really not happy with it for an interesting reason. This is full on kink shaming. What the hell dude, if you don't like it, turn off your TV and don't think about it. Don't kink shame, hashtag my kink, your kink. I mean, I really don't try and offend people with my videos. I mean, I probably try the exact opposite, but uh, I never really thought I'd upset someone for taking the mick out of their kink. Okay, and then there's Patrice here. Your shit, there's too many people like this on YouTube. I mean, we're on Facebook, but we'll continue. You wanna lose face in humanity? Look at how many subscribers these shit frauds have. I mean, you know what, Patrice, you're probably not far from the mark. Who gives a f you're not funny. Leave them alone. They aren't harming anyone. Oh, bloody hell, it's Jack Sectikai. And then there's our guy Edward here, right, who is doing a fantastic job. Hey, I will report you, Will and e, for stealing YouTuber Will and e's videos from YouTube. Very, very sad. Edward, I really appreciate the thought, but don't worry. We're all right. Hey, Will, think I found your doppelganger. Ah, oh. Wagwan Pifting, what's your BBM pin? Right, hang on. How do we block this person from this? And then we posted a bit of last week's This Week on the Internet, right, and specifically the bit about where I was talking talking about the Grenfell Tower and how great the woman was who'd only been working there for, for like five days or something for like going in herself, right? And when we talked about that, we gave Dave here, Keith of the Week, for being like, oh, a woman can't be a firefighter, right? Well, because we posted the video also on Facebook, Dave found it. Here's a hypothetical for this bellend. Well, right, right, that's a good start to this comment. You are semi-conscious in a burning building. Dave, bloody hell, you took this pretty dark. Who do you want the fire brigade to send you to drag you in? Da -da -da -da. I bet dollars to dog shit. That's a new one to me as well. You wouldn't pick a five foot four ten stone woman this isn't brain surgery sheesh what a bellend i mean do you know what though dave right i've got to say that's the face of someone i'd like to save me from a burning building you would do a much better job dick i am a 32 year old man who follows will on snapchat that's a bit creepy is it dan absolutely not right you're a total hero regardless of your age here's another interesting one i've just found um what the f 
is up with your face? I'm not too sure, Jaren. It's a little bit square on the bottom, but I mean, I just wish it could look like yours. So I posted a picture, as in like, I just changed the profile picture, but didn't realize that would post to other people's feeds. I didn't realize doing that would get much attention on it. The comments on there were quite interesting as well. I mean, you've got the usual from Ryan here. He's gone for the solid square head nonce. I mean, yeah, fair enough, Ryan. Well, not the nonce bit. <laughs> right, okay, moving on. And then Josh here has gone for wonky eyed f Cheers, Josh. He looks like Bugs Bunny. Hang on, hang on. What does Bugs Bunny look like again? Like, I'm fine for having the piss taken out of us. Like, but at this point, I'm used to it, right? But, but where's the joke here? Like, I, I just don't. Will and E, you look goofy. Actually, <laughs> this one here is my favorite, right? Your head is a dishwasher tablet. <laughs> but Ross, 1 0 to you. Zane Award. He's ugly. Jack, you are absolutely a 10 out of 10. Oh, look at that bloke. F what a stunner. Oh, God, look at him. He's a model. Then there's one that I've had a kind of bit um, comparing us to Montana from Love Island, which I, I can't even deny. I see that a little bit. Good for her, to be fair, but we'll, we'll move on. But anyway, so I feel like that's probably a good place to end that video. It was a bit of a, an interesting experience. Anyway, if you have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. It genuinely means a massive amount of me. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.